Hi, this is Aaron Steed from Nitram. This is going to be a tutorial video for the dev mode in Steamland. Dev mode was always available by entering a cheat code on the title screen. Now it's easier to get to because we'd like to see what you the fans can make with it. We always plan to keep slowly expanding Steamlands with new content and our first expansion is going to be extending the world map with fan made levels. We've even put in new weapons for you guys to design levels around and they're pretty cool weapons as well. First we'll deal with how to activate dev mode. Make sure you've got the right version of Steamlands and that will have this little freshener on it. Just click on that and that will bring up this pop-up. This pop-up also has details of where to send your levels to as well as a link to this tutorial video. So let's press OK and then we'll click on play to go to the world map. So, now we're on the world map, you'll notice at the top left, dev mode, press escape to edit. So if we press escape, that's top left hand of your keyboard, we can see the editor mode. There's a menu at the top left here, if we click on that, you get an array of options for loading and saving different campaigns, and right at the bottom here, you can download an editor help file. This is like a detailed instructions for how to use all of the different options in the dev mode. But we won't worry about that just yet. We'll just go back to play mode, which we can also do by pressing escape again. And we'll edit the level. Okay, so now we're in the level, let's just press escape. And now we're in editor mode should be able to see your tank and if it's not the very first level there will be some, some other tanks in there as well so if we just click and grab on the background here you should be able to scroll along and there we can see another tank let's just get rid of that tank for the time being because we want a nice clean level to start with and over here we can see some free blocks on the floor we want to get rid of those as well so let's go up to the menu and click on delete all free blocks. Now let's edit our player tank. Now if you use the backspace key we can get rid of all these blocks off the tank. Don't worry about deleting your tank or your tank tracks, it won't let you do that. And if you press escape we can get back into level editing mode. If you hold on the menu bit of uh, uh, without holding on any of these options, you can drag the tank around, which is a lot simpler than me using the control stick. So now we've got a completely empty level from start to finish. Let's save it to our hard drive so that we don't have to do all that all over again. There we go. So now that we've got the level completely clear, let's just click on Edit Tank. And we'll press the B key to bring out the block palette. You can also access this from the menu. If you just click and drag from the block palette, that's how you get blocks into the game. And you can also use the C key to copy blocks. Let's get some power onto that tank. And let's give it a couple of weapons. Okay, now press escape to stop editing the tank. And now we need an enemy tank to fight against, so click on duplicate right. Now the enemy tank's facing the wrong way, so click on mirror tank and drag the enemy tank away from the player tank because the enemy tank is going to start wherever we put it on the level and also when the player passes this little circle here that's when the enemy tank is going to rush forward and attack these little guidelines here pretty much dictate where the enemy can uh, move around and attack in and if the player backs out of here then the enemy will stop attacking but it also depends on the player's uh, the enemy's personality 
which is right here. So we've got a personality of none, that means the enemy will do nothing, it will just let you attack it. So we want to change that to novice, because we're going to make this an easier level. So, now we want to edit the enemy tank, because we want to make it a little bit easier. So press the B key, and now this gives us the power to weaken the enemy blocks with the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. So just hold down minus, and it will take down all the health. Of course, if you take off too much health, let's just bump it up again with the plus key. Okay, now we'll close that off. Now we want to give the enemy a nice little flag, so press the F key. Don't worry about the top three slots, those are just the uh, slots for the player flags. And let's give it that one. Okay, so press the F key to get rid of that. And press escape to get out of editing mode. Drag it just round about there, I'd say. Okay, now we want to save this, that's very important. So here we go, save. Okay, brilliant. Now we can test our level. You can do this by pressing escape and it will give you the option to play as level. Uh, but you can also play the current state as well. That will allow you to test out current little ideas and stuff. But we'll just play as level. There we go. And there we go. We've got like a complete Steamlands level. Of course, this one's going to be very easy for me, because I've weakened him quite a lot. Excellent. Now you might want to copy tanks between levels, and the way you do that is by selecting the copy option on each tank. So we've copied that. Let's go to menu, let's load back in the level we made earlier. And now we find a nice blank space to drop that tank into. And we select paste tank from the menu. There we go. Now you also may want to save your tank so that uh, you can build up a nice collection to load in. Just click on save to file, which is on every tank. Confirm the pop-up and then we just save that out. Now if you want to get that back into the game what we do is go up to the menu click on load a tank file into the copy buffer and then we select paste tank from the menu again. And There we go. Of course the levels looking a little bit cramped so we want to change the level width now. So let's go up to menu, select change level width, and then we can change that to something like 3000. There we go, much more room. That's pretty much all you need to know for making a really basic level. Uh, the only final thing you might want to do is give it a description. If you go into menu you can select edit briefing description. So we click on the white side and then we can change that to that and that'll show up on the campaign map when the level is loaded in. So the last thing I want to show you today is the new weapons which we've put in just for you to make levels with. The first one is the Dragoon, that's like a shotgun style weapon. You can see it fires like a burst of buckshot.
Next we've got Catherine. This fires a spinning kind of uh, bullet emitter, rather like a Catherine wheel, the firework. And next we've got the Infesta. This fires like an infection which creeps along the blocks on the tank. If it destroys the first block it gets to, it won't actually spread the infection, but this is more for like on uh, high health blocks and uh, large walls of armour, because it can deal damage to a whole area of the tank. And last but not least is the Valentine. This is a really powerful gun because it can steal blocks off the enemy tank. So what I'm going to show you now is just some of the madness which you can get away with with these new weapons, especially when combining them with Reflectium. Okay, here we go. Not such a great idea making a tank completely reflective anymore, is it? Right. So, I hope uh, these new weapons inspire you to make some new levels, and please send them in to fans at uh, We're looking forward to see what you send in. Thanks.